822 now. Good morning, everybody. The very busy Sarah Richardson is here. As I'm, I'm thinking, you host Sarah's House, Sarah 101. You have this great article, uh, Fresh Twist on the Classic Kitchen in Chatelaine. And are you writing for The Globe now? I'm now writing weekly for The Globe for the there style section. Go. Busy woman, fabulous. Welcome, good to have you here. Kitchens, we were saying earlier, kitchens and bathrooms, that's what everyone's obsessed with. You got it. And so if you have that kind of standard issue builder's kitchen, there are things you can do to make it a little more stylish, a little more reflective of who you are. Absolutely. I think that one of the challenges, not everybody is able to renovate right out of the gate. We'd all love to rip it apart and do our dream kitchen, which is what we often get to do for the show. But there are lots of people living with sort of a set wrapper, if you will, or mm -hmm. sort of fundamental elements that can't be changed. And I still think there's an opportunity to inject your own sense of personality and fun. Um, paint is the first and easiest thing to change. I mean, realistically. Well, actually, that's gray. That kitchen is two shades of gray. It's pretty smoky. Okay. I think it's. I like to see a. I like to see a change away from white. My kitchen is painted a really intense shade of blue, and I think that many kitchens, you know, the safe color for cabinetry, the one that will never go out of style, that will never make you look like you made a huge mistake, is white, obviously, mm -hmm. because it appeals to the most people. If you do a kitchen with your cabinets in bold orange. The next person who buys the home, they may not be loving your orange. However, if you put that color on the walls, it's easy to change. Right. You know, it's, right. a kitchen is not going to need more than two gallons of paint. So you're talking about an $80 investment to make a big change. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you can do yourself. Yeah. over a weekend mm -hmm. so that's you know place number one to make a change is definitely with your paint color because it can allow you to take something that's totally bland and make it as daring adventurous or what have you as you want but when you said you did a bold blue in your kitchen how do yeah. you know like I have no sense of design whatsoever um, so if I saw a bold color I think oh my god it's fabulous in the paint store how do you know that's still gonna work on the wall or is it just going to be overwhelming so there's a couple of rules. Um, when you're looking at a paint color, it's generally good to go two shades lighter and two shades muddier than the color you think you want. And this is really applicable for yellows. So anybody who's thinking about painting like a kid's room and they go, oh, I'm going to paint it this lovely light yellow. No, that's actually going to look like the inside of a lemonade jar right. when you're done. So the best rule is to look at the color at its most intense point on that chip. If it goes from, if you're looking at a chip where it goes from light to dark, mm -hmm. look all the way to the bottom of the chip and that'll give you what the true read of the color is going to be. So if it goes to yellowy green, mm. that's how it's going to look on your wall. So two shades lighter and then go two shades muddier. So flip a little bit further through the deck to find something that's more subtle. So it may actually end up looking just like a kind of creamy beige. Once it gets on your wall, it's going to go yellow because the color is going to be intensified because of being reflected on all four walls. Mm. Do you have a specific color that's a go-to color for kitchens? Because I always find that one of the most difficult choices is actually paint. Is Yeah. Well, um, funny you should ask. So what I did to try and make that process a lot easier is I actually have a paint line now. Um, so I chose 75 colors. And and um, I think that normally in a fan deck, there's over 2,000 colors. And over 90% of those have no business being on your walls. Unless yeah. you want to look like you're, you know, riding in a school bus. You know, there's all these bold choices that don't actually translate well to home. So I chose 75 colors of sort of my foolproof favorites of things that could all be mixed together and that will never look like <gasps> when you put them on there. You wall. have 75 of your own colors. Yes. Did you name them all? I did. And it was really, 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 really fun. fascinated by that. <laughs> well, we did. A, we sat around our office one day at lunch, and we tossed around ideas. And basically, what we had to do was arrive at a color that perfectly dis, dis, um, describes, described, yeah. explained, or summed up the feeling of the color and how it actually looked. So this kitchen is painted shoreline, oh. smoky oh. gray. You got it. Yeah. And I think oyster inside right. of an oyster shell. And you do get a picture in your head immediately of what you mean by that, don't right. you? Right. Yeah. You do. Yeah. yeah. And so to sort of know where you're going. And so that's fun. That's so a good exercise. So you've got some tile here? I've got some tile. So uh, backsplash is another great way to add personality. A lot of kitchens don't, don't have do. a backsplash. Yeah. So it's a good way to add some texture. You can do it with a natural material. So a um, natural stone mosaic is always a popular choice. Something um, that has some variation in color. 
but it's going to be probably more subdued. You can do it in glass tile. Comes in, I mean, stone comes in every color under the rainbow. This tends to be sort of more of a splurge item. You're looking at about twenty dollars a square foot, mm -hmm. but then your your cost to install is pretty much fixed. So I say get the backsplash you really want because you only need a small amount. Is this hard to do? Can people do their own backsplash, or should you bring someone in? You know, I've seen it done on shows, and I'm going to say based on that, I'm not going to recommend it as the DIY. Paint yourself. Yeah. Hire a professional for tile. So especially when it's twenty dollars. A square foot. Yeah, it's you make a good mistake. Point. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Installation is everything. I, you know, I love home magazines, but I'm, I'm the same as you. I, I'm not, a, you know, a design guru, and I always think that, you know, when you piecemeal it, you know, you say, right. oh. You know, you can spend maybe five hundred dollars to to update your kitchen, right? But when you piecemeal it, it looks piecemeal. Whereas, you know, I'm looking at a home magazine like a shot like this, and that looks very uniform. That looks very right. thought out from floor to ceiling. Well, that's so, a good point. I think it's the the cohesiveness of mm -hmm. a scheme that creates success. So even if you have to do it piecemeal because you're on a budget, what you should do is start by coming up with your scheme. So know where you're going. So backsplash. That's one place to add some, you know personal interest then think about fabrics and it you know you're not putting a sofa necessarily in your kitchen but you might be able to put in a window treatment you might be able to have stools that have some fabric kid-friendly fabric mm -hmm. what have you mm -hmm. so that's a place to add some sort of softness and then you can think about pendant lighting because that's another key place to make a statement you know focus downward task lighting it can be as subdued as contemporary as you want or kind of as you know traditional and frilly if you want to put chandeliers in your kitchen you probably would not but there you go I kind of like them I like the way they look but right. you know what by the time I jump on something like this it's over well you're on to the next thing and if you do your kitchen piecemeal Sarah be, for right. economic reasons right. by the time you get it all you know scook them Everything's out of date. Now you got to change it all again. Got to go buy another. Well, that's why you color. probably don't want to be a slave to trends when you're. No, you want to take a. If you take a classical approach, it's not going to go out of style. Yeah. What is mm. cookum? I'm sorry, I need to ask. That's yeah, kind of a West Coast expression for I something like it. that's is really. It's done like. Yeah, like yeah. Perfection. Skookum? Yeah, it's yeah. like acne. Okay. Uh, well, You'll hear it on the show now. There you go. <laughs> I learned something new today. Stainless steel. When will that go? I don't think stainless no. steel will ever go because stainless steel comes from restaurants, right? So yeah. it's, it comes from anything that is uh, appropriate, hard-wearing, durable, um, or classic like that. It should never go away. I don't know that you want your whole thing wrapped in stainless yeah. steel. We're not but going back to Harvest Gold and Avocado Green? I, I don't know. You know I'm going to say no. Those mix masters and stuff are all coming out in those retro colors. I know. They're, it, I mean, I think it's still fantastic to see color. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of there was there was a moment where each of those colors on their own is okay. It's the fact that it was all about harvest gold and avocado green, yeah. and there was there there was nothing kind of there was no lightness and brightness to kind of yeah break it up. I remember that kitchen in my own house. <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up. It was a step up from the fake lavender brick that, <laughs> that appeared before. We all say it's so bad, but we all have such fond memories of harvest gold and avocado I green, totally right? One hundred percent. It's eight thirty now. Thank you so much to Sarah Richards. You can read the article on kitchens in the uh, holiday issue of Chatelaine. She is a host of Sarah's House and Sarah 101, and you've started now writing weekly for The Globe. We're on weekly. There right. you go. Thank you so much. We'll Thank see you in a minute.